Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today you read that title, we'll be making a vegan sushi bake. So first we're gonna start off by making some homemade eel sauce because unfortunately I can never find a good store-bought type of eel sauce. I mean, I guess unless you visit your Asian market, but I'm just taking a 1 4th cup of soy sauce, 1 4th cup of mirin, and two tablespoons of sugar. And we're gonna pretty much let that come to a boil and then turn it down once it boils and let it simmer. It's gonna come out so perfect and so delicious, y'all. Oh my God. But once it is done, you just want to let it sit to actually thicken. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get our rice ready. Yes, we are using some yummy, yummy sushi rice. This rice is a different grain and it does have the cooking instructions on the back, step by step with the measurements. So to get the perfect rice, be sure to follow the instructions that are on the back of the container. And I'm just gonna first start by washing my rice. I don't care what type of rice you're cooking, whether it's sushi rice or regular rice, brown rice, jasmine rice, whatever type of rice, always make sure you wash your rice to make sure that it is cooked to perfection. Next we are gonna get our filling ready. So I am gonna be using chickpeas for the main filling portion of the sushi bake. And I'm just going to wash them, make sure you rinse them out of the can as well. Put them into a bowl and then we're gonna smash them down. Be sure to do this with a fork because I tried to use like a little masher that comes in my little utensil set, y'all. It did not work. If you watch my video on Instagram, I'll be making the chickpea tuna, then you already know that does not work. You have to get in there and get down with a fork, okay? Once you get your rice coming to a boil, you wanna turn it down so that it can simmer. Make sure to add a top, like I said, follow the directions. And then once you let the sauce sit, this is how it thickens. Next, I'll be chopping up some green onions to add into the filling of our sushi bake. Next, we're gonna go ahead and season up our filling. Now, all of the sushi bakes that I have saw, they use salmon for the filling of their sushi bake. So, of course, this is gonna kinda mimic some type of seafood. So, the seasoning that I'll be using today will be listed down in the description. It will be some pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna use some Old Bay to give it that seafood flavor, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of paprika. I'm also gonna crumble up a complete nori strip in there, of course, to give it that fishy flavor. So you can put these in a blender, but I just decided to do it by hand to avoid getting my blender out. And then we're also gonna add those green onions. We're also gonna add some sesame seeds. I did get the tri-color sesame seeds. You can use just white, whatever you like. And for the mixing base, I do not care for mayo that much, y'all. So we're gonna be using some plant-based cream cheese and a little bit of soy sauce and we're gonna give that a good stir.
This is how your filling should look. You can add more or less cream cheese, however you like yours to be. So next we're gonna add our ingredients to the rice, which are the same ingredients that are listed on the back of the sushi container. So it's going to be some rice wine vinegar, some sugar, and some pink salt. Now I am gonna go in and add some sesame oil as well, and a little bit of mirin. I'm also gonna multiply this by two because instead of one cup of rice, which is what is on the back of the rice container. I did use two cups of rice to make this sushi bake because I wanted it to be a lot. I didn't want to make just a little bit. So if you are making just one cup of rice, you would have that, but I'm just gonna do that twice because I'm making two cups of rice. Now it's time to get the bake ready. So we're going to put the rice into our container. You can use whatever type of baking dish you like, but I had this foil dish, which I thought would have been perfect. So I am just pressing out the rice so that we can add the rest of the filling and things on top. So I am gonna to top the rice with some sesame seeds again, and then I'm going to put two sheets of nori on there, and then we're gonna add the filling on top. So y'all, while I was pressing the filling down, I was like, oh my God, just looking at it like it's not gonna be enough. So where I messed up is, like I said before, I used two cups of rice, so I should've used two cans of chickpeas, but I only used one. So it was not enough of that filling to cover the sides of the sushi bake. So that's why the sides are kind of just like rice and nori strips because I didn't have enough of the filling. Anyway, I popped it in the oven and let it bake just to warm it up because chickpeas are already cooked. You don't have to cook them any further. I did top it with some sweet chili sauce and then the homemade eel sauce that we made. And it was so delicious, y'all. I thought it was so good, but I did eat mine with crackers because I wanted a little crunch with it. That's the thing that was missing from the sushi bake, I feel, is the crunch. But it was so delicious. Y'all, make sure to like this video. Do not forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.